In this video, I'll be showing you how to search for assets inside Media Central. Assets are items that are stored in a database, like stories, video clips, and audio clips. After you sign into Media Central UX, an empty pane labeled Assets is displayed in one of the application areas. After you open a system or project, the label of the Assets pane will change to reflect your selection. You can browse the database or work with the assets that are already there. You can also open multiple asset panes, which appear as multiple tabs in the same pane. The search bar in the top right corner of Media Central, regardless of what layout you're using, has a drop-down menu you can use to select the type of asset that you're looking for, a text field in which you can enter search criteria, and a search button you can click to conduct that search. You can search for assets by using the search bar or the search pane. The search pane provides an advanced search criteria that lets you conduct a more precise and faster search. To conduct a search, first click on the Assets drop-down menu to the left of the text box and select the asset type that you're looking for. There are three options to choose from. The first option is All Assets, which searches both iNews and Interplay Production databases for stories and media that match the search criteria. If you select this option and then add criteria specific to Interplay Production, like video resolution, category, or type, the search ignores iNews databases and returns results from the Interplay Production database. The second option is Stories, which searches only the iNews database. The last option is Media, which searches only the Interplay Production database. The next step is to type a keyword or words in the text field, here. The more characters you can provide, the faster the search will give you results. When you enter two or more words separated by spaces, the system conducts a search for anything that matches all words entered. Remember that the use of punctuation or symbols might return some inconsistent results, like using an asterisk or a question mark. After your keywords are entered into the search text field, simply click the search button. It's that easy. For more videos like this, check out avid.com forward slash how to.